It's uh, Julian on the radio, uh, B96 Morning Show. We're live here with GoWare Hip Hop, GoWareHipHop.com. I, now, number one, I gotta admit, we're uh, we're live here with it's Stalin, right? Yes, Staley. Okay, I was on I was on my morning show this morning, and my producer was like, "Dude, it's Staley," and we're like live on the air. I'm like, "Yo, I'm gonna interview this dude on GoWare Hip Hop." I'm like, "His name is Staley." Do you ever get that? Do you even care about that when someone mispronounces your name? Um, I don't because you know it's a lot of. Uh, I mean, I guess it's kind of you can say Staley, Staley, Steely. I don't know, but it's Staley. Okay. Yeah, cool. It doesn't really bother me though, as long as you listen to the music. All right, cool. So you're originally from Ohio. You got, you got a big show going on tonight, Reggie's Rock Club with Chandler London. You've been here, now I gotta admit, you were here like, um, you were here recently, you've been here like a bunch of times before, like is this like your fourth or fifth time in Chicago? I believe this is my fourth time, okay. so yeah, I, I love Chicago, right. I'm always like coming back. Uh, I was here actually over the summer also uh, working on some music for uh, Savage Journey to American Dream with Soundtrack, mm -hmm. so yeah, Chicago, I mean, I love Chicago. What are some of the shittiest places you performed at? What are some of the dopest places? Can we, when you say like you love Chicago, what is it you love, and what are some of the you know the other aspects of places you performed at that you love, and you know, and, and also conversely, you know, things that you hate. Right? Yes, I mean Chicago, I love, um, you know, because it's it's like a big city, but it's still a small city. Yeah, if that makes sense, you know, I, I like that you can be. Um, you know, 15, 20 minutes out in the suburbs and then you can come in and come to the city. Um, it's, a, it's you know, more like a, a cleaner New York. Right. You know? And um, it has a great scene as far as fashion, music, art, um, great museums, you right. know, stuff like that. So uh, that it's just really cultured and I, I love Chicago for that and that's why I love coming back here. Um, as far as shitty places, I don't think I've been to many. Um, no? Every place, nah, every, cause every place is kinda, it's, a lot of places are new, so a lot of places are a good experience for me, um, and they have different energy. Yeah. How about this? Give me one place, okay, okay. Give me one place that was different for you, that was new, <laughs> where the energy was interesting. If we're gonna use the word game, we'll just play the word game. I get what you're saying. <laughs> interesting place. Um, where was that at? Um, Vermont. I oh man! Was, I think it was Sugarbush, Vermont. It's nothing but skiers there. Yeah, huh? yeah ski exactly. Right. I was there for a snowboarding competition. Actually. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I performed at a, a bar, like outside of the mountains, of course. And it was just, you know, like it was kind of hippied out. You know, <laughs> people were dancing. Did they get you? Or they did. They enjoyed it. They they definitely enjoyed themselves. Um, but it was just a different energy. It was a different feel. I don't know if they were enjoying the music or just enjoying that there was a black guy rapping in front of them. You know what I'm They're probably so, high as fuck is what they yeah, were. And they were that too. You know, so, uh, and drunk. But it was good. It was a good experience. Right. Definitely. Cool. Uh, part of Maybach, part of the Maybach Music Empire, as they call it. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Um, I, I'll be honest, I don't even know. Like, How did you and Rick, how, like, how did you and Rick Ross even meet? How would you connect? Did he find you like online? How did that work? Just heard word of mouth? Or? Um, well, he... He, when he when I first spoke to him and met him in person, he told me that he had um, seen a video with me and Currency address mm -hmm. that was on MTV Jams. He also saw a couple other videos that I had like slap and pound on uh, MTV Jams, and mm -hmm. he you know when, once he seen address, <coughs> excuse me, once yeah. he seen address, he said that he felt that. Um, that I was a superstar. So he continued to watch me. He, he liked everything that I put out um, after that. And um, then Lincoln Way Nights came out yeah. of the mixtape and he really liked that. And he just was like, yo, I want this guy to be a part of, you know, Maybach. I want to help him to reach his potential, basically. So he reached out, he called me one day, and um, that was that. Let's talk about some of the new music you got coming out. I know you got a new project that's coming out. You also got, um, it's like, what, eight or nine songs you released for free, right, for the public? Yeah. You want to get into that and, you know, your whole mindset on that? Yeah, songs by me. Um, you know, like I said, over the past couple of months, I've just really been in the studio, really been working, writing, um, you know, just practicing my chops and getting things together. And I've, I have a lot of music that um, I, I recorded. There's a lot of music that won't make. Savage Journey to the American Dream. Right. So I definitely wanted to give those to the people who supported me and have been here since day one. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's been pro a little bit over a year since I put out Lincoln Wayne Knight's Intelligent Trunk music. So I didn't want to keep the fans waiting. I just wanted them to have music and, um, 
you know, just build that anticipation for the project, let them see where my mind is at, um, my thoughts, um, and where the music is going. Right. You know, you know so. That's right. It. Now, speaking of, speaking of, like, the whole thought process, I always, like, kind of wonder, like, how do people, like, everyone, like, writes differently, you know? Some people, like, this, you know, they'll talk about, like, writing music while they're on tour, or I wrote, like, five tracks, you know, when I was, you know, in one night. You right. get what I'm saying? Like, how do you come up, do you, like, do you sit in a studio, you just bang it out, you just... Like you might just be eating McDonald's one day, and yo, I just thought of this, I gotta write this down. How does that work for you? Because I, I don't have that talent. Right. I don't have any talents, you know what I mean? Well, you have this I, talent. No, this is not a talent. They, they couldn't find anyone to do the interview, so they just called me. They found me down the street. Oh, okay. okay. I was doing well, you're doing a great job. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so yeah, no, seriously though, how do you do like, how do you come up with that writing process? I know it's through your experiences, but ultimately, how do you put that on paper, and how does that, you know, how does that work? Right, well, and for me, I'm always um, creating and thinking, and writing in my head, you know, like I, even right now, I'm thinking about the next rhyme or the next project. But do you write it down though, right? I, I don't. I, I will eventually, but I just kind of gather these thoughts until I, you know, and then when I'm ready or I have that burst of creativity come over me, that's when, you know, I'll sit. And, and I am that guy that kind of writes in spurts. There's no real big science to how I write. Mm -hmm. um, for me, I turn on a beat and I just go wherever the beat takes me, honestly. Okay. Like nothing is kind of. Uh, thought out right. um, or anything like that. As far, but like I said, my mind works crazy, so I'm always just thinking of uh, concepts or lyrics or right. song titles or, um, you know, just anything is just in my head, but it takes time for me, uh, or it takes until that time that I sit down in mm -hmm. the studio and I turn on the beat and I write that everything flows. That's cool, because normally you think like, because like, I would think like I would forget that. But you, you know, you don't, you like, you remember basically what you, you know, you don't write it down. Yeah. You remember that. It's crazy. Because I'm one of those people, like you said, there's some artists who be like, well, I was doing this at the time, yeah. or I did that. And you know, a lot of people be like, I write best when I'm stressed or when I'm happy or whatever, you know? Right. So, like, for me, even like, there's, you know, times where I have so much on my mind that I can't write. But when, I'm, when I do sit down and write, I can reflect back on all the things that were either bothering me or mm -hmm. going through my mind at the time. Mm -hmm. But it's just my brain is a thousand things going on, so I have to kind of wait until it fizzles down a little bit. What are some of your goals? When someone asks that, it's not like a jaded question. It's like, you know, everyone has like, you know, like the pinnacle of where they want to be or, you know, do you just want to keep doing this? What's your like, you know, if you could have the ultimate goal, what would that be right now? Um, what are you working towards? I'm working towards just, you know, being a great writer, you know, all around, um, you know, a great artist. And, uh, I just want to be able to put something good into the world and um, be known as someone who gave themselves fully to the people and that was just known for doing, you know, putting out great work, mm -hmm. timeless classic music. Mm -hmm. And um, that's it. Cool. Yeah. Cool, man. Is there any, um, I mean, I, I know you've probably been asked this before, but you know, I just like to know personally, are there any uh, artists right now that, you know, you like? Maybe two or three right now? Maybe some you don't, you know, that you dislike? <laughs> I mean, you know, it's okay. I mean, maybe you don't want to play that game, but, yeah. you know. Like, Hob <laughs> Hobson's dissing the dude from Odd Future all over the place. Yeah, and, that's true. You know, so. And is there anyone that you, you know, that you look up to, you want to work with, or, you know, maybe ones that, you know, you don't really have respect for, and why? <laughs> I mean, um, there's definitely artists um, that I, I would like to work with that I okay. haven't. You know, like Nas, I would love to work with him. Right. Andre 3000, um, you know, just to name a few. And as far as, um, I mean, you know, I, I, I really don't listen to a lot of hip hop, honestly. What do you, you listen know? to? I listen to, um, uh, I guess. What, like Taylor Swift? No, no. Like <laughs> hardcore music, like Justin Bieber? No, I get it. I get it. That, no, that, like what, that's jazz? That's too hardcore for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my station plays. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. But no, <laughs> I, don't I mean, know. I listen to a little bit of everything, but I do, you know, I, I'm, I'm listening to more of like um, Friendly Fires and Foster the People and. Um, cool. I just started listening to Bon Iver, you know, and uh, just, you know. Wait, hold on, is that, the, is that the guy that won, uh, didn't he win like Best New Art or something like that? Yeah, he did. <coughs> Excuse me, and he was on Kanye's album, his yeah. last album. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I, I, I don't know, like hip hop doesn't really... Um, Define you? Yeah, or take me there no more, right. you know, creatively. Um, when I do listen to hip hop, it's usually older. Yeah. And then, you know, I do listen to Ross and I listen to Meek and Wale and the team and, you know, just people who can really um, inspire me or kind of make me want to pick up the pen and, you know, go to work. Yeah, I respect that. That's very cool. Your music doesn't define you because normally you would, you know, not that it's bad, but you're a hip-hop artist normally say, oh, I listen to, you know, I, I don't know. 
you know what I mean, Gucci right. Man or something like yeah, that, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean, but you're doing it different. Mm -hmm. It's cool. And it's yeah. good because all different types of music probably inspires you to think differently. That's probably yeah. why you're so diverse in how you rhyme and everything like that, so. Right, definitely. Um, so let's talk about the, real quick, let's talk about the beard, man. Like, you know, I'm an Asian dude, but I gotta grow a beard. You know, how, do you have any tips? I'm saying because I think it would take me. I think I would die before I get a beard like that. You, know you probably like, would grow a gnarly beard though. You just gotta let it flow. Yeah. Do you do you know who Fu Manchu is? Um, I heard, but yeah. I, I can't picture his face. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But is it a long, wise man beard? Right, 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 right. <laughs> right. That would look kind of strange. Um, <laughs> Stanley, Mass in Ohio, 330. Shout out to Go Where Hip Hop.